Hello everyone, welcome to another discussion on our series on Neuroscience and Neural Networks. So, basically this video is a recap of our discussion that we had earlier on, on Neuroscience. And in this video, the idea is to answer the question on why does our brain think in a particular way. In the ensuing videos and discussions, we are going to see how does the brain work in that direction, okay? So, this is a recap of our discussion that we had earlier on. Uh, and we had an amazing discussion. We had a tremendous discussion where we talked about certain individual behaviors and how those behaviors, when grouped together with other individuals, become a part of a societal behavior. Okay? And over the years, when this societal behavior is exercised, it becomes part of our culture. And as the culture evolves, along with many years, those behaviors become very deeply rooted in our culture okay and we do not question those behaviors we do not raise any you know issues regarding those behaviors there are no alarm bells that ring up in our minds regarding those behaviors and we brought up certain examples uh, as far as those behaviors were concerned to that end we looked into um, bribery corruption we talked about dowry we talked about racism, we also had examples regarding some linguistic stereotypes, certain language related um, behavioral aspects and all of these examples basically led to the same conclusion that yes, these behaviors are questionable, these behaviors are wrong. We had a consensus that these behaviors are morally incorrect, they are morally you know, void, but these behaviors are unfortunately to a certain extent part of our culture and tradition now and our brain does not raise alarm bells around alarm bells as it should and we tried to deliberate more on this but what we basically concluded from this was that our brain is made to think in a particular way it's made to function in a particular way that it accepts these behaviors as a norm okay so our brain is, uh, if you will, wired up to accept these things as part of uh, uh, the normal status quo, okay? So, and, and, and we basically wanted to understand why does that happen, okay? Uh, how does that happen comes up in the future videos, but in this particular video, we wanted to see why does this happen. Uh, to that end, we looked into these individual behaviors. We tried to see the the reasoning for that we concluded yes the brain is wired to think in, in a particular way and when a lot of brains are wired in that manner it becomes a societal thing which eventually embeds into our culture and becomes part of our tradition over many years um, we also had uh, two more examples that we basically looked into detail and these examples facilitated our understanding of uh, or of neuroscience in general and uh, one of which was uh, about a kitten which was prevented from seeing from one of its eyes during the time that its vision was being developed okay so it's one of its eye were, eyes was uh, covered with a cloth or a flap and it could only see from one eye during the time of its development and when it became a full-fledged cat the flap was removed, the cloth was removed, and it was allowed to see from both of its eyes. And the study then turned out, concludes that the cat could only see from one of its eyes. Okay, so it did not develop vision from the other eye because that the other eye was covered during the time of its uh, vision development. Okay, so we concluded that the brain, even though it's a cat, the brain is m learns basically to see from only one of its eyes. So that was what we developed from this example. Uh, we And by the way, there are other examples as well. Uh, for example, there's a, there's a study on monkeys where monkeys are taught to differentiate between a square and a triangle and then they are not asked about these questions to distinguish between square and triangle for many years. And when they are asked again after a lot of time, they tend to forget how to differentiate between a square and a triangle. But then they relearn it and they eventually are able to distinguish between square and triangle again. Okay, so that's another example where the brain 
although forgets to think in a certain way, but then relearns it, takes time, relearns it, and successfully distinguishes uh, between different shapes again. Okay, so the cat example was where the brain could not develop a certain type of way of thinking. In fact, it developed only one, in fact, it developed a particular type of thinking and could not learn to view from both of its eyes uh, because perhaps that was during the time of uh, development of vision. Whereas the monkey example shows that the brain could relearn how to do things, it could be rewired to do things in a different way. Uh, it could it could basically just relearn what it had learned earlier okay uh, in our discussion we also had another monkey's example and that was regarding a monkey trying to uh, this was these were five monkeys in a cage and they were trying to get to the banana that was uh, hung up above a certain podium above certain stairs uh, and each time a monkey would get to this banana would try to get to this banana it, they would all be sprayed with cold uh, splash of water and what that meant was, and this was as a punishment, so each time one of them wanted to get to the banana, they would get sprayed by cold water, and this basically created a learned behavior amongst them that they would not get to the banana, they would not want to get to the banana due to the fear of getting sprayed by cold water. Okay? Uh, the study then goes on to say that if you replace one of these monkeys, uh, by a new monkey okay so you have a new this is a suited uh, coated monkey okay and this is a new monkey and if this monkey tries to get to the banana now because it does not know that it's going to get sprayed by cold water okay the other four know so if this tries to get to the banana the other four are going to beat him up okay that is the idea that the other four are going to beat him up because they don't want to get sprayed by cold water again and therefore this monkey realizes that if you get to the banana if you try to get to get the banana you get beaten up by your fellows okay this is the learned behavior for this new monkey and it's a different learned behavior as compared to the other four the other four are not getting to the banana because of fear of getting splashed by cold water whereas this new monkey is not getting to the banana because of the fear of getting beaten up by its fellow monkeys okay the story then says that if you replace another monkey Okay, so this is the uh, this is this was the coated monkey. This is the second coated monkey, uh, coated and suited monkey. So if you say that if you replace another monkey, uh, things get very interesting because if this new monkey tries to get to the banana, it's going to get beaten up by everyone again. Uh, these three original monkeys are going to beat him up because of the fear of getting splashed by cold water. Whereas this monkey is going to beat him up because he learned that each time you get to the banana, you get beaten up by your fellows. So it knows this thing. So every time this monkey is going to get to the banana, this monkey is going to beat him up again. In fact, it's going to beat him up harder because it got beaten up himself when getting to the, to the banana. So it's going to beat this new monkey even harder than the other three maybe. Okay. Uh, and as an extension, the study then says that if you replace all of these monkeys with, uh, with a new monkey in the cage, what exactly is going to be the ultimate conclusion? That none of them is going to get to the banana because of the fear of getting beaten up by their fellow monkeys. Okay, so and that is a very interesting conclusion that they are not going to get to the banana because they fear that their fellow monkeys are going to beat them up and now remember that the original case was that the fear the original punishment was getting splashed by cold water whereas after replacing these monkeys the fear is getting beaten up by your fellow monkeys and this we try to link with our cultural uh, phenomena as well cultural evils as well uh, that exist in our society that not knowing the original consequences not knowing the original in-depth um, reasoning of certain behaviors we tend to develop a particular style a particular kind of learning and we derive our conclusions from it so none of these five original monkeys know they did not they, they don't have the knowledge of getting you know splashed by cold water yet they are not approaching the banana Okay, so they do not know what the original punishment is, 
but still they are not getting to the banana they all they think is they might they will they they, they know that they have to beat each other up whoever um, tries to get to the banana so these were the two uh, basic uh, examples that we look in detail the cat example and then this uh, allegory of monkeys example uh, this study where we try to link our behavior with the way our mind functions uh, thinks in a particular way so as to you know if i if i say loosely it's the way our brain gets wired up to think in a particular fashion in the next videos we are going to see how does that exactly happen we're going to look an in-depth uh, we're going to look in depth uh, something related to neuroscience we're going to see different parts of the nervous system and understand what each part of that nervous system does thank you